morning, YouTubers. We are uh, dumping trucks and going to shell some corn. Uh, we got three loaded trucks over at the bins to dump tonight or this morning from last night. Uh, it's supposed to rain here in a little bit, but uh, we're not going to really worry about it until we actually start seeing the rain drops. So hopefully, we can uh, have a pretty productive day out of it. Uh, we're going to do what we can while we can. So that's where we're at for now, but as always, it's subject to change. pair of bites to dust. We're, uh, we'll have to load trucks in this field right along the road, so we're just sitting here as far over to the side as we can with our flashers on. This road doesn't see a lot of traffic, so that shouldn't be an issue. Looks like Dad's just getting started. It looks like he's only made a couple trips uh, on this end over here, so George can unload. So I'm going to jump in the grain car with him and see what words of wisdom George has for us today. Words of wisdom this morning. Yeah, drink a lot of water. So what's this bet? Ain't bad. You want to bet a dollar that whenever I get back with an empty truck, you're gonna be sitting there with the cart loaded and the truck. Maybe the cart. <laughs> Checking it out, old man. Yeah, boy. there. Hey, I don't know. That's a mess, man. It's good. Or it's messy. Hey, George, they didn't have your potato bowl. The chicken fryer was broke. Georgia subscribers. That's right. I love peanuts. Him and him. Hard to be. Run this bad boy over. I don't know who's ever taken the time to explain how the corn gets to these bins whenever you put it in the other bin, those littler bins. What we're doing is we're putting it in that small bin that runs to the dryer, and then these overhead pipes right here are powered by the air system to move it to the drain bin. It's all moved by air power. If you don't have a leg and you have a tall bin, that's probably about the best way to get it there, I guess. Well, that was the first field they were in. We're moving to a field just across the road from that. But uh, it's starting to sprinkle. Hopefully it can hold off. We can, we can shell corn in a mild rain, so it's no cause for alarm yet. Just have to see if it gets any worse or not. trying to get in this field. I gotta go up this little grass bank. Kind of jackknifed in the lane. I got back across this little little ditch with a, or a little culvert. Let's see if we can't make it up this time. Muddy, but I made it. I think we're gonna get this uh, over there down Fort Rains. Yep. You do? Oh, yeah. I sprinkle on the way over there. Oh, shit, that's not this. We'll have to hurry.
he did not care that we were here, did he? Nope. A little too close to the house, ain't it? That's for sure. I'm scared for George's safety. Are you scared? Yes, sir. He loves sweet meat. I'm scared to death. <laughs> Hey, Bub, you want to go for a ride? He's crazy. He's upset that I'm gonna ride around with my beautiful wife over him. A decent amount of down corn in that field as well. So it took him a little longer than I thought it would for him to do that uh, this last load. So. But he just left to go to the next field and it looked like it was standing a lot better. So hopefully we can get some productivity going now. Well, we definitely just got rained on. Uh, Dad's down at the office. I'm gonna go meet him there. We're gonna do some paperwork, get some uh, stuff organized from hauling to cargo yesterday. I don't know if I, how long the rain's gonna last. This could be a uh, hit for harvesting today. Just have to see if there's anything else coming out with the radar yet. What are you doing over little man? You gonna go help me and Pappy? Don't panic, we're in the driveway. He's in the front seat, but we're in the driveway. Hey Dad, while the combine's sitting there, why don't you explain how the corn head sucks the corn stalk down through there? How does it suck down through there? Oh. Yeah, like of course, these are upside down. Well, show us on this one, then we can see the underneath view. Yeah, that one's got dirt in it. These are the gearing rolls underneath. And they're in the gathering chains. And the stripper plates are on top. The stripper plates will go in and out like a uh, half inch. Keep them as small as you can so the ears don't go down, but you got to get them open enough that the stalks will go down through. If you open them too much, that you get a lot of butt showing on the head. At the bottom of the, of the ears showing off. So after the sucks the ear down through, then what happens up here? Then it just takes the ear on up to the auger, then it gives you the collar. No, I mean right here. This comes around and snaps it, doesn't it? That just kind of crushes the stalks, pulls the stalks down through. This is the feeler for the header control. His head's got uh, two of them, three of them on it, I think. Two of them. On the ends. One in the, there's one in the middle also. These are the feelers. we got to cut them off, so I'm going to cut them off. This is what guides it through the corn. What guides it? They're too long and they get caught. But we need to cut them off some. One thing that's kind of strange about the new challenge is the draw bar is extremely low to the ground. So before we hook it up to the wheat drill, we're going to go ahead and flip it over, give it a little bit more ground clearance on the tongue of the drill. Want to drive? Mm -hmm. So easy, a three year old could do it. Stay like you are. Look behind you. We're going back. Yeah. Well, we got our first complaint with this Challenger. That rail is in the wrong spot for mountain monitors. You turn the chair all the way around like they advertise and you hit the... You run out of room real quick on that rail for... Yeah, it needs to be up there. There and hang down. I'll leave Dad alone with this thing for five, ten minutes. Bust out a drill and starts drilling holes.
but that is one complaint I do have with this tractor this uh, this bar for mounting extra or other monitors or I mean, mounting any kind of auxiliary anything it's really not in ideal locations I I like that you can turn this tractor seat all the way around like that but if you do you hit whatever's mounted on that bar so that's no good ideally I'd like for a bar to be about right here you could hang stuff up or hang stuff down or put stuff up on it I think that would be a better better use of that space and really I'd rather have a round bar than this one with the channel if it was a round uh, bar to mount things to it'd be a lot easier to make something here at our shop instead of having to buy one of their mounts which might not I don't know I think it'd be just as sturdy or stable I mean, that's what we've done with other tractors but so far it's about the only complaint I have with this machine I do wish we didn't have to drill holes in that bar and get salt or shavings everywhere but I guess it's practical that's gonna be it for today's video uh, we did get rain delayed um, it hasn't rained a whole lot so if it doesn't rain any more than this we'll probably be back to shelling corn tomorrow but hey thanks for watching if you like what you see go over and uh, follow me on Instagram at Brian's Outdoor Videos or like us on Facebook at Brown Farms thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video